Having seen robots maybe three, four years ago, having seen it as a concept and an idea, to actually see it in real life and it changing the way we do things, that's what really excites me. Automation is really exciting for us here at Centre England Cooperative. It opens up a number of possibilities for us, both for our colleagues, but also more importantly for our customers as well. A couple of things that we're really focused on here is how do we take out inefficiencies within our process, how do we look at some of the complementary technologies to really truly help us transform the work that we do. At CEC we are owned by our members, we're a cooperative. We have over 240 food sites, 20 petrol filling stations, 180 funeral homes and we also have support businesses in funeral, coffin factory, florists etc. We operate to give back to our communities and our members so we have a really clear purpose within the society which is to create a sustainable society for all. At Central England we haven't historically invested much in technology so we do have a lot of manual processes within the society and automation and robotics forms one of the key um, streams within our digital roadmap and we're really looking to address all of those manual processes and move to a world where the teams have the tools that they need to do their job. Automation addresses our four key sustainability pillars that make up the wider organisational strategy. So those four pillars, first one, human. The second one, financial. Third one, inclusivity. And the fourth one being environmental sustainability. And automation is really helping us address a number of things in each of those four key areas. Our first automation went live in June of 2021, um, and actually, we've now got 12 automations live, saving us around about 1,800 hours. We can make more meaningful decisions, we can make more meaningful responses to some of the problems that we face into, um, and I think that's been a real big benefit to us. Now we've got automation, colleagues are being able to take their breaks, they're taking their lunch hours, we're getting through the task. What really excites me is taking away those mundane tasks from people and giving them time to invest in other things. Automation has been a brilliant strategic lever for us. We've recently purchased 50 new funeral homes and we've been able to do this without taking on any additional resources in the back of house offices. So we're going to be able to grow our business at zero cost. We look after 1500 processes and every single one of those has got a standard operating procedure. And those have got steps in them. And every single one of those steps that our colleagues do today, we can apply automation to. And that's either with robotic process automation, with chatbots, with artificial intelligence, or with natural language processing. When you put all of those things together, the art of the possible is absolutely fabulous and it's really exciting. So the new lines automation that we've just implemented is probably one of the most complex tasks within Finance Master Data and it's probably been the most challenging. The data comes in from many sources and we've proved that that can be quite challenging. We set the line up, we pass it through a number of systems, complex systems. So for example, it'll take a colleague around 10 minutes to do one task and the robots come in and it takes around one and a half to two minutes. So it's really good. The first thing we did to socialise automation was we listened to our colleagues and we listened to their concerns. There's a lot of fear that can be associated with automation and RPA, so by listening to them we were able to really talk to them about the benefits that automation and RPA was going to bring. We were able to demonstrate very early on that actually it wasn't about removal of roles, it was about focusing on the value add, it was about we don't need to recruit for projects, it's about we can do digital transformation quicker, easier, because we can free up the resource to focus on the things that we need to focus on. Once we did that, they got really excited because they realised that they were going to be stopping doing all the things that they didn't used to enjoy and start doing things that would really add value back to the business. Instead, they're spending time listening to the customers, both internally and externally. We can spend more time caring for our colleagues in funeral and caring for our customers in funeral. We can spend more time adding value into the business, looking at price promotions and making sure that we're getting the deals right for our customers. We can spend more time looking at how we support the communities. We can spend more time looking at how we focus on sustainability and environmental challenges. The list is endless. It really has opened the door to, to everything. I think for me the transformation is, is how we embed it within our culture as well. So it's not only what's operating, what the output is, it's, it's the way we think as a society and the team and the fact that we're sitting in those meetings today and everyone's on board and this isn't new, new news. For me, that is transformation in itself because it's within, within our day-to-day -day, um, procedures, so that's great. 
From going from being quite resistant to positive, they're now very much forward thinking in terms of, you know, what, what could we use in the future if we take on a new project, for example, we have new processes, what, what could RPA and automation do for us going forward? So very much um, turned around how they, how they think and feel about it. I've seen a difference in the team, a total difference. I think they will now be confident that other automations that may be introduced in the future will have the same impact. Being kind of a junior developer, um, it just blows my mind to just see where the possibilities, where RPA can take us. Not just automating current processes, but almost changing the ways of working of new processes or implementing new ideas into the, into the society.